Today I'm gonna show you how to knit your own hat for your own Bini Boo. I uh, made a hat, an easy hat for my uh, Bini Boos, my penguin Bini Boos. And I made a hat with this loom, but uh, my hat is a bit uh, too big, so I'm gonna make a new hat. And today I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna use my Crazy Knits workstation and uh, this is the loom that I'm gonna use because I can decide how many packs I need. Maybe you're, uh, you're gonna make a hat for a bigger uh, beanie boost or for a smaller beanie boost so then you can decide uh, if you need more or less packs than I'm gonna show you. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to loom an easy hat with just the e-wrap. Um, I'm gonna make a knot. I'll do this the following way with my fingers. I'm gonna pull the rope and then just pull the knot tight and then I'm gonna put the knot on my first peg and the rest of the I'm gonna put it down here okay then I'm gonna start with just the ear wrap this is the way I'm gonna wrap them I'm gonna use nine pegs on this side and nine pegs on the other side so I'll go behind it and then tie it like this i'm gonna show you behind it tie it like that behind it tie it like that and that's what i'm gonna do nine times and then when i'm here i'm gonna pull it to the other side and then i'm gonna wrap it like this and then wrap it back so i can get back to the first peg I just wanted to tell you don't make it too tight because uh, you'll make it uh, a lot harder for yourself but I have to keep my fingers on them so they won't get loose so they won't sprung loose like just happened okay I have one knot on each peg and now I'm gonna make a second one uh, I'm using two threads because I love this thread but it's not uh, it's not that um, it's a bit too small for me, so I like to use two to make it a little bit better. Don't forget to hold it, because if, do, if you don't, then it will spring loose, like what happened to me before. Okay. Uh, I now have two knots on each peg and uh, I'm gonna keep this below this part. I always start with the last peg where my thread is still attached to it. I'm gonna pull the lower knot and then pull it off my peg like this. And then from each peg I'm gonna pull the lower knot and then pull it off my peg. And this is what I'm gonna do with all the pegs. basically how we're gonna do it this is my first row so uh, I'm gonna make a new row of e-wraps don't wrap them too tightly don't forget to keep your finger on it so they won't spring loose Okay, so uh, this is basically the idea. You pull, you will uh, make the e wraps and then again pull off the second row of the, the lowest row. Like this. So keep 
putting the e-wraps on it and pull down the lowest row keep pulling the e-wraps on it and pull down the row is low i'm gonna turn off my camera and finish uh, finish the job until i think my head is big enough and then i'll put on my camera and i'll show you how we're gonna finish this head okay so now i'm finished i can uh, i have pulled all the loops from the peg so now i can pull my head off my loom and now I can finish by uh, pulling my rope together. Oh, let's see if I haven't missed anything. No. Okay, so I can pull my rope like this. And now I can use these, this knot. I can cut my, uh, my thread right here, pull it through my rope through this knot and then my hat will be finished and this is how you make your own uh, hat for your uh, beanie boo um, it looks pretty cool and um, it, it, gives my, it gives my ice cube a good look I hope I showed you how to make your own hat for your own beanie boo if you like my video give it a like and uh, you can subscribe my channel to see more videos Today I'm going to show you how to knit your own hat for your beanie boo. Doop -ba -doo.